Hi folks, thanks very much for joining me. Uh, I'm back on the river this week and I'm on the river Nadder. The Nadder uh, meets the Wiley in Wilton and it ends up flowing into the River Avon at Salisbury. It's a, it's a, a nice little river, it's uh, considered a chalk stream, uh, but as you can see it's quite a closed in river. One of the main reasons I've come to the Nadder is uh, many of the Salisbury district waters don't allow you to nymph before the 1st of July, but the Nadder is one of the exceptions. And uh, I would say nymphing is probably my, the weakest part of my river game. So I've only brought the one rod and uh, to resist the temptation of just sticking a dry fly rod up. And I'm going to give the nymphs a really good go today. Uh, I'm going to explain my setup as I go along, but I need to walk up the banks, so I'll tune in later. Okay, I've only, I've only brought one rod along with me today, and it's the uh, Hanak Superb XP. It's a 10 foot for a three, and I've coupled that with a Hanak reel. Uh, this is the stream, and I've already got um, a, a, a purpose-built tapered leader for nymphing. Now, as I've said, I've uh, I've only brought this one rod, and the, the reason for that is I didn't want to be tempted to uh, set up a dry fly rod and go back to my default setting, which is uh, just looking for rising fish and, and uh, targeting them. Now what I'm going to do before I put these through the rod rings, I'm just going to get some heat into my nymphing leader. A little bit of heat just helps straighten the whole thing out and uh, makes it easier. So I'm just running it through my hands to generate a bit of heat. Now coupled with uh, the nymphing leader, I've got, as you can see, some coloured nylon on the end to help me with take the tetch in. And I've left the little tags on the end because it's just another way of sighting. Now before I uh, start fishing, I'll probably put a little black mark just in the middle of the pink section here as something to focus on. So I'm just going to get this through the rod rings. Okay, what I'm going to do now is attach my leader to my micro tippet ring that I've got here. And the tippet I'm going to ch I've chosen to use today is 0 0.12 uh, Hanak fluorocarbon. Now this is uh, a 1.4 kilogram or three pound breaking strain, which will be more than adequate for anything that I can catch in this river. And what I'm going to take is about five feet of this, which is roughly the length of my arms. And I'll just tie that on now. Forgive the glasses, but uh, these sunglasses are actually bifocals, and without them, I can't tie even tip it to fly ring, never mind small flies. So uh, that's why I'm wearing the glasses. It's not because I want to be rude. Or cool. Okay. Now, I've tied a couple of flies for today. Um, which I've got here and they're, they're quite small. Uh, they're on the new... The new Hanak Jig Superb, size 18. 
uh, and basically it's just a little Mary nymph. I'm going to whip that on. I've only got like a two millimetre bead on because the the little um, stream I have in front of me, and I'm on my knees here because uh, I don't want to stick my head above the parapet really uh, until I'm ready to start fishing. There's a lovely little run in here. I think um, there'll be a few fish in it. They won't be of any size. This again, the nadders are, it's a wild fishery. So you're looking to be catching fish between uh, four and five inches. That's what I'm after today. Now, now I've got the fly attached. What I want to do is just come in with some black wax And I'm just going to put that, a little bit of that, onto my uh, pink section, the middle of my leader. And that just gives me something to focus on. So, I'm going to have a wee fish, see how we get on, and then I'll see you, check in later. Well, I've, uh, I've just lost a little trout there, just an outfit under these branches. I've been bow and arrow casting. It's not been easy access, but. I'm persevering. Uh, I've met another angler who was uh, dry fly fishing, and he said he's not seen any rising today, uh, and he's really struggling a bit. But uh, I'm hoping that uh, the nymph will score a few points for me. We'll see how we get on. Well, the fishing continues to be pretty tough, but I've got a little in here. Gorgeous little fish. And uh, not only that, believe it or not, uh, I caught it from the bank and I've just been looking for a place to get back into the water to um, release the fish. And I found my mobile phone right, right at the bottom of the river. Perfect. You can't beat a bit of luck. Well, after the beasts of last week at Rutland, uh, this is what we're down to this week. So that's what I'm here for, these little wild fish. Uh, they're really challenging and the casting's really difficult. And that's why I've come to practice my nymphing because uh, I don't feel it's my strength and it always needs a bit of practice. So uh, I'm getting plenty of that today. It's superb. I think there's thunderstorms due later, but while the going's good, I'm going to get going. Hi folks, well, uh, it's been a really frustrating session this at this little pool. I've hooked three fish, three decent fish for, for this size of river, and uh, I've lost them all. But I persevered when I really wanted to throw my rod up the bank and just walk away, but I persevered and I've been rewarded with that perseverance. So. Let me show you this little fish I've caught here, it's absolutely stunning. Absolutely beautifully marked, let's get him back in the water. And just like that, he was gone. Uh, it's been a great day on the nymphs. They've really wanted it. I've just got to this sort of skinny water here. Uh, it's maybe two, three feet deep. And I've lightened up my nymph to a, a two millimeter tungsten bead Mary nymph and I'll, uh, I'll stick that up in the, the insta bar on how to tie that. It's a great little nymph. Simon Robinson uh, came up with a pattern a few years back. It's just lethal. Everywhere I go, um, it's, it's a fantastic nymph. But uh, I'm still catching very little fish. I've had a couple of reasonable sized ones, but I've got to be honest with you, I'm, uh, I'm losing more than I'm landing, which uh, is not good. 
but uh, I'm going to persevere. I think there's a thunderstorm on its way in, but we'll see how we get on with that later on. Okay, I want to just show you this, uh, the end, the terminal end of my, my leader. So what I've got is some bicolour tippet material. This is the Hanak and it's pink and green. But it doesn't really stand out until you add some of this stuff. And this is like black wax. Uh, and I'll just, I'll just stick a bit on now. So this is the hard one and it's for, for summer fishing. And if I just put a little bit on there and a bit down the bottom here where my green is and that really stands out on the water uh, I know it doesn't look much here on the camera but when you're looking in all kinds of light the black really stands out and as I said earlier I've got the little uh, tag at the end here which helps so I hope that uh, explains a bit more about how I'm sighting these nymphs uh, even very light nymphs, you can watch takes, you can, you can lay your indicator on the water if need be and uh, just watch for slight movements and then hit them. You know, if the, if the indicator stops, pauses, does anything other than it should, you just give a little flick of your wrist and more often than not you'll be into a fish. I was slow today though and uh, I've missed lots of takes. Need to work on that. See you all next time. Well, I've, uh, I've had to up my weight a little bit so I'm getting into these much deeper they're a little bit slower pools so I put a 2.5 millimeter bead on and it made an immediate difference uh, I had a really small fish and then I've just caught this little fella here um, who's a little bit better not much mind 